So recently I experienced something that had a massive impact on my life. And it was my last day here in Nicaragua at the Manual Home of Protection. And the teenage girls that live here in this ministry wanted to do a closing presentation and sing some songs and uh, for myself and a few of the folks that were with me. And, and in that moment, a 13 year old girl, she passed off her four month old baby to me. So it was a 13 year old mother that passed off her four month old baby to me. And this baby came into the world as a direct result of sexual abuse. And so as I stood there and was holding this four month old baby, I witnessed something that shaped my life because this 13 year old mother, she got up in front of the room and she started worshiping to a song called Waymaker. And some of the lyrics of this song says, God, you are a way maker. You're a miracle worker. God, you're a promise keeper. My God, that is who you are. And in this moment, it just had a profound effect on me as I was holding this four month old baby and watching this 13 year old mother who experienced sheer evil, like at its worst, and to watch her testify to the goodness of God. That moment is a moment that seared in my mind and heart forever that I'm never gonna forget. And honestly, this is the ministry of the Manual Home of Protection. The Manual Home of Protection is located here in Nicaragua, and it's been a ministry for 15 years that stood in the gap for young girls, teenage girls, that have been rescued from sex trafficking and been rescued from sexually abusive situations. And we work directly with the Nicaragua government. They have a task force that goes and rescues these girls and they place them here at the home. And currently in Nicaragua, we are the only home that's open that can receive these girls and minister to these girls. And our goal and our dream and our vision here at the Manual Home is pretty simple, is we want to take a holistic approach into ministering to these girls. We want to see these girls restored mentally, to see these girls restored physically and emotionally and spiritually. And so at the home, we have a trained psychologist that's, that's here, a social worker. These girls get to go uh, to the public school and get good education. Uh, these girls get plugged into a local church as well. And not only that, they're trained in some different trades that they can use as life skills when they get out of here. And so for 15 years now, the vision of the manual home is to stand in the gap for these girls that have been rescued from sex trafficking and sexually abusive situations and to provide a safe place for them to grow and for them to be restored on mentally and emotionally and spiritually. And for 15 years, this has been our dream, it's been our goal, and we'll continue to do exactly this as God leads us into the future.